So all Samoan families, every single Samoan family, they have this. This is what we call melee. Can you say the word melee? Melee. Mele. Mele. Yeah, I guess in English it's a sharp stick. Uh, it's a coconut husker. So every single, when I say every single Samoan family, I mean every family. So this is like, you know, if, if you look at that facility there, that's you know, what looks like, that's what uh, a Samoan cooking facility looks like. So out back for yourselves, if you come to a Samoan cooking facility, you will always see this sharp stick, stick it in the side of it. And for yourselves, you're like, what is it for? Well, I'll show you what it's for. So this is how we husk the coconut. Uh, I need a volunteer. No, you come here. I, I want you to do something. It's easy. It's a girl's duty. Huh. I want you to. Uh, I want you to hold me. I mean, hold the mic. Okay. So I can. So what we're about to do? We are going to husk the coconut. So when you husk the coconut, you gotta be familiar with your coconut. You gotta make sure you know the front side from the back side. Because when you husk it, you gotta make sure. By the end of this, you have a tan. So, uh, so the reason why is because you gotta make sure when you husk the coconut, make sure the front side is pointing away from you and the back side towards you. So when you aim the coconut into the husker, you make sure you stab it towards the end. Because if you stab it in the center, you're gonna make it a lot harder for yourself. Actually, this hand right here is more like a stabilizer. This hand just makes sure the coconut aims straight to the husker and it stays up there, it doesn't fall off. This hand right here is more like, you know, just put pressure into it and feel the husk off. Thank you, man. Okay. And you are from? Sydney, Australia. Sydney, yeah, good day. Yeah, so there we have it. Are you impressed or what? You're supposed to clap your hands after I do that. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Average for a man to husk a coconut is usually takes about six to eight seconds. A woman, almost all day long. So that's why we cook. Uh, that's why the men in Samoa are the cooks. So after we husk the coconut, speaking of husking, anybody here heard of what we call the coconut crab? Raise your hand if you ever heard of the coconut crab. Where have you seen it? On television. On television, good one. Okay, see, uh, a coconut crab, the Samoans, we call it a woo woo. It's one of our delicacy. These crabs do not live in the ocean. They live inland and they get big and they're very, very tasty. And the reason why they're called coconut crabs because this is their staple diet. This is what they eat. So you know how the crab husk the coconut, what I just did? With their claws, they tear into it and it takes a while. So when they finally get to the shell, because this shell is a solid shell, you know how they break it? They will actually pick the coconut up and they will carry it up on a tree and aim it on a rock down below and drop it. And if it doesn't hit that rock, they will repeat the same process over and over again. I've seen it on Discovery Channel, just like you said. Uh, I did. So what we're, what we're about to do now, we are gonna break the coconut in two halves. You can chop two up. That's why I wanted you to hold it. Oh really? You can have, you know, like a little shock on that. So what we're about to do, we are going to husk the coke. I mean, break the coconut in two halves. So in order to break the coconut in two halves, every coconut in the world, they've got three points on the top. So uh, the Samoans make the names for this. We call this the eyes and we call this the mouth. And sometimes you're wondering to yourself, like, now how can you tell the eyes from the mouth? Well, the eyes are always slanted and the mouth is flat. The reason why you gotta be, uh, you gotta be familiar with these three points because what we're about to do, we are gonna crack the coconut in two perfect halves. So in order to do that, you gotta look at the line between the eyes and crack it there. If you try to crack it any place else, it's not gonna come out right. Can you say the word ma'a? Ma'a. Ma ma <laughs> yeah, I guess in English, it's a small rock. Uh, so I was gonna use the ma'a to crack the coconut in halves, but since you're looking all bored, I'm gonna try and pick things up. I'm gonna use my head. Get your camera trick.